Okay, we want to sim simplify this expression, and the problem with this one is that it has negative exponents. So let's rewrite it. If you recall, um, x to the negative 1 power would be the same as bringing that 1 down to the denominator and make it to the positive 1 power. And then we have 4. We're going to take that negative 2 power, and we're going to... Um, bring it down to the bottom, and then it's no longer negative, now it's positive. We'll do the same thing to the denominator. We get 10 over x plus 8 over x squared. All right, so now it's a complex fraction. You want to make sure that you um, get rid of the extra fractions, um, like here, here, here and here. So the LCD of those four would be x squared. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by that LCD of x squared. So distribute the x squared through, we get 3x squared plus 7x plus 4 over 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. Now it might not be finished here. Sometimes, you know, we want to, it wants us to simplify completely, so we have to check that it doesn't factor, or check that it does factor, and then we need to factor and cancel any common factors between the two. Um, so with 3x squared plus 7x plus 4, um, I'm going to use the box method. which is taught in MTE 6. And for this, you multiply the A and the C, which is 12, and then you need the factors of 12 that add up to 7. Those would be 3 and 4. So it's actually 12x squared, and then this would be 3x and 4x. And we're going to put uh, the 3x squared, the A, in the top left box, and the C in the bottom box. And then we put the 3x and the 4x in either one. It doesn't matter which of the other two we put those in. Factor the GCF out of the top two, and we get 3x. Factor the GCF out of the bottom, and we have 4. If you take 3x out of 3x squared, you're left with an x. And if you take 3x out of 3x, you're left with a 1. So our factors are 3x plus 4 and x plus 1. Alright, and then the other one, we'll put that in a box too, so the a is 3x squared, the c is 8, and then we get 24x squared, if you multiply across, and the factors of that, they're going to add up to 10, would be 6x and 4x. So factor out the GCF at the top, and that's 3x, and it leaves you with an x and a 2. The GCF at the bottom would be 4. Just make sure that if you multiply everything out, it works out. And we get 3x plus 4, and x plus 2. So the 3x plus 4s will divide out, and you're left with just x plus 1 over x plus 2.